Hey, this is Travis with The Random Commuter. Thanks for joining me on my way to work, and let's get going. I gotta pick up my clothes from the dry cleaner on my way to work. Usually, if you look at my casual dress, you'd be like, it must be Friday, because that's casual Friday. Ah. Just forgot to pick up, what? Oh, just forgot to pick up my, uh, my dry cleaner over the weekend, so I'm picking up now. Now that we've gotten that squared away. Is that my coffee? I feel like I'm forgetting something. I hate that feeling. Still cruising around in the Bolt. I've had the Bolt now for, let's see, what, three weeks, something like that? I love it. Absolutely love it. And I haven't been to a gas station for anything that whole time. All right. By the peach joint, so there should be a dry cleaner right here. There it is, gigantic cleaners. It doesn't look like they're open. That would really suck. Monday, 7 a.m. It's 7.02. Let's try the drive-thru. I don't think this is gonna help either. They've got cardboard in front of it. And I'll just go back to around in the front. All right, got the dry cleaning on our way. Rock and roll. <laughs> Lisa Loeb. Do we ever hear anything from Lisa Loeb ever again past this song? I loved this song. I had a big old crush on Lisa Loeb. I have no idea why. Looks like I was just graduating high school when this song came out. And I know I have the CD. I had like six CDs. Like, and they had nothing to do with each other. Like, I had like Ugly Kid Joe, Def Leppard, Lisa Loeb. Oh, I know I had um, the Brady Bunch, uh, Brady Bunch album. It's like a sunshine day or something like that. Drove my roommate nuts with it. What else did I have? Green Day, and that Green Day CD makes sense. You say, you say, you say. I think we'll put it on mute for uh, Christina Aguilera, Genie in a Bottle, 1999. <laughs> the weird thing is, is I associate Lisa Loeb, <clears throat> Christina Aguilera and all that with Dawson's Creek. But Christina Aguilera, at least this song, came out five years after um, You Say, You Say. Oh, here's a little fun fact or fun, it's not really a fun fact, the fun fact is did you know the human brain weighs 10 pounds? That's a fun fact. Um, this is just current events as they apply to Travis or the random commuter. So, I was doing some homework last weekend. Last weekend, well, yesterday. No, I was doing homework. No, <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> I was, I was also doing homework. I do homework all weekend because I put stuff off to the last minute. So I'm doing homework and I get this uh, LinkedIn invite from Colby. I don't know who Colby is. I'm like, I don't know. So I, I, I looked up Colby and it turns out he is the director of government affairs for Voyager Aerospace. And I'm like, why does that sound familiar? 
Voyager, Voyager. Ah, yes, Voyager. I did a company profile and SWOT and gap analysis on BA for Space, my other YouTube show, um, on Voyager. They were like the, one of the first ones I did. And so I think I remember when I did my my write-up, I said, ah, there's, there's not much to them. Their website looks a little choppy, things like that. So Colby, I think he just now saw the episode <laughs> as of whatever date it is today. So he sends me a message and says, I saw the, I saw the, um, the episode and he, he thought my gap and SWOT analysis were spot on and, and he wanted to put a little bit more color on what the company has plans for. So he did and, and all that. So I'm probably going to do a, a follow-up episode for Voyager Aerospace or Voyager Space Technologies. I forgot what their name was, at least offhand. So we'll do a follow-up on them. So I'll be looking for that on my BA for Space show. Or oh, I'm sorry, let's see what's on Channel 9, 90s on 9. I don't know how much longer I'm going to have this. I am not re-upping my, um, my serious subscription. You know, you get to like the, the three months free trial. I'm not going to renew it once it expires. So after this is done, I think I've got a radio on here. So I'll probably just go back to normal favorites, which I'll have to set up. Anyway, I'm kind of enjoying it while I got it. So this song was out in 1995. It's called Su Sukiyaki. I don't know what it is. I've never heard this. That is sounding a little bit familiar. It sounds like a, a, another boy band that wanted to cashed in on the boys to men and in a um in sync you know we got barbershop quartet kind of sitting around snapping their fingers and harmonizing which don't get me wrong i freaking love that stuff i'm so glad that was i became a thing it's like yeah let's just sit around on bar stools and and uh do amazing things with harmonics hell yeah that's good stuff away from me you took your love away from me what the hell does that mean okay I'm the accuser I'm saying you this person that I'm singing to you took your love away from me did I possess that love Okay, so someone's like, I am now giving you love. Okay, now I'm taking that love back. I always thought love was like an expendable product, you know? It's like, you generate love and then you, you know, it's like a one-way kind of stream. It's like kind of like a hose. Like, I'm spraying you. <laughs> but like, like, like it's unidirectional. Like, on both sides, you know, there's... I didn't think it was like this, this line or this thing on a string where you could be like, oh, oh, beep. <laughs> I'm taking it back, beep. Like uh, this thing, it's like my, my love, it's, here. it's this, this, this spherical entity that's shiny. I just assumed it was like a current. Well, if it was a current, that would imply some sort of a circuit. So the love goes out. Okay, the love goes out, and there's like a love power source, and that's your heart. You know? So, the love goes out. It connect. It completes the circuit with the other person. If the other person, is, you know, closes the circuit, wait, opens the circuit, then the circuit can't be. What the hell was that? Did I just run over something weird? Okay, so circuits. If it's open, 
the circuit's not complete. If it's closed, it is, I, I think. Anyway, so their circuit's open, which means that the current can't flow, which means that there's no love there. There's no love shared. There's no love current going, you know. But once they close the circuit, it's like, oh, there's a love. So, and then the, it comes back to you and goes back into your heart. But it is spent. And that's how a circuit works. Uh, energy, there's a, uh, an energy source that's spent uh, because of the, the, uh, the current energy required for the current and then you have energy that comes off as heat so it's not a closed system you know when it comes back around um, there's a lot of energy loss so you know you probably say things same thing for love on that and you have to renew this love in your heart wow I'm, this is actually making a lot of sense with stuff you know you have to it's not this uh, this conserved energy you know, love, you have to constantly renew your love and rebuild your love. Yeah. Otherwise, the current won't be strong enough and you won't be able to uh, to power the other person with your love anymore. Think about it. You took your love away from me. All right, and vote, free your mind. Oh, here we go, 1992. serious use of cowbell right there. Bam! I like unapologetic, unabashed cowbell. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, the drumstick used on that cowbell, trust me, was torn to shit. And the cowbell itself may have been dented. That's called commitment. When you're ready to beat the crap out of your cowbell. I've always wondered about cowbells. You know, like musical instruments usually have some sort of origin, more humble origins. Maybe the triangle, maybe the uh, the symbols used to be like a I don't know a trash can lid or something like that. But they're like, oh well, now we can refine it. We, um, you know, manufacturing techniques. Uh, we can go for certain pitches, certain sounds, different sizes, things like that. It's like, but they had some sort of humble beginning. Now, I don't know if there's different qualities of cowbell. I've never actually looked into that, but the cowbell that you use in like a professional recording studio, is that the same cowbell that's around a cow's neck out in the middle of a pasture? Do they even use cowbells anymore? Or is that a little more like family farm? We've got Bessie the cow. She's great for milking, you know, things like that. sure why I, I don't really like Smash Mouth. I mean, Smash Mouth is anthemic for the 90s. You're sitting there going, it defined the 90s. It's like, um, play me a song that envelops the 90s. You might as well be walking on the sun. I don't know if that's actually Smash Mouth. Smash Mouth. Somebody once told me the world was going to rule me. That's Smash Mouth. And all I think about with that song is uh, is high school, like sophomore year. Somebody once told me the world was gonna roll me. Was that high school or was that college? Great, now I have no idea what happened. All right, what's this? Genuine, ah, oh, okay. Pony. <laughs> I know this one. You know, songs like that, they got this like unique sound that's repeated over and over again. Until, so that's all I hear eventually. I, I have no idea what else is going on. All I hear is, bah, 